Yeah, it's recording. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, my name's Priscilla and welcome back to my channel. This is my special guest. This is my sister named Yvette. Hi. And she's also a reader and she's also a booktuber on booktube, so I'll make sure to link her channel below. Today we're doing something a little different and I think it's called a TBR or for my... I think my boyfriend buys my books or something. Okay, yeah. But so we're doing sisters. it with sisters. Uh, we'll link the first that we found below as well. And she's also going to be having me on her channel doing it for her as well. So I'll make sure to link that video somewhere. So I think how we're going to do this is we're going to go to a bookstore. And I'm going to let her take over the camera vlog style. And let her venture and try to find things that she thinks that I would like to read. Because we're both readers and we both kind of have similar tastes. We might be able to do we that. read a lot of the same books. And we have a lot of the same accounts. We share the Overdrive account. And we share a Kindle. And we share a Kindle. So our <laughs> reading overlaps a lot. So I think the pressure is on <laughs> to find things that like, we both like. <laughs> if I don't find something that she likes, then I'm just going to be a fraud. Yeah. Then, Could Priscilla. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's very disappointing. Do you want to tell the viewers what you think I like to read? How, what, your, what your game plan is? Um, I'm pretty much looking for something diverse. I think your tastes are like a little more like literary than mine, like fancy, fancy literature. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to go for that, or maybe I'll buy you something that I think you would like if you read it. I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm probably just gonna be safe and buy something I know you're gonna like. Okay. Yeah, that that works for me. <laughs> I think that I'm gonna sit in the cafe while she's walking around, or some other secluded area away from as far away from the shelves and let her kind of walk around by herself and she's not allowed to look at my Goodreads account and she just has to kind of go in as blind as possible. As yeah. blind as possible when I watch all your videos and I know what books <laughs> you want to read. As, as fair as possible. So okay. no Goodreads, no YouTube, none of that stuff. Alright, no YouTube. Okay, and then she's probably going to take over from here. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, let's, right, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. I'm shopping for Priscilla and starting off in the cooking section because recently me and Priscilla went to Barnes and Noble and we got really into cookbooks so I'm gonna see if I can find her something here. This is a lot harder. Ooh, sweet. Perfect. What's this? Ooh, that's pretty. This is so pretty. Oh. Coconut chocolate banana ripple cheesecake. That sounds delicious. Okay. City of Brass. That's going to be a good book. But I already have it. And I think Priscilla would like to read it too. But if I have it, there's no use on wasting money. Because she can just read my copy. I really need to put a pep in my step because I only have like one book. I feel like I'm taking a long time. Romeo and or Juliet. Oh, that looks cute. What if Romeo never met Juliet? What if Juliet really got really buff? Whoa, it looks, looks kind of cool. I don't know if Priscilla would like it though. That artwork, it looks really familiar. Like Lumberjanes. Oh, what's the name of that artist? I totally forgot. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Oh man. I think I might get this and take a chance. And choose your own patch. I, I just think it's really cute. I hope she likes it. <gasps> they have another one. <gasps> That's really cute too. But, hmm. Which one? Romeo and Juliet? To be or not to be? Romeo and Juliet? To be or not to be? I think I would do Romeo and Juliet. Oh, look. That's a cool cover. But, no, to Lord of the Flies. Homegoing! I think that'll be like just an easy pick for me because I'm pretty sure she wants to read that. I feel like it's kind of cheating just because I know she wants, she would like to read that. But I mean, that's what this video is about. <sighs> oh my goodness, this is so stressful. Oh, we got some Crazy Rich Asians. She liked those books. Oh, wow! They have the third one. Rich People Problems. Okay, she read the first book. She read the second book. I don't know if she liked it enough to have the third one in hardback. I think she'd like something else. I think I think she'd like this, but I don't know if she would prefer something else to this. I just really want to get books that she'll like, and I see a bunch of books that she'll think are okay, but no books that she'll see and be like, Oh my god, you know me so well. 
the vegetarian i remember her mentioning a long time ago that she wanted to read this all right let's see if there's anything harry potter Ooh, that's a giant book uh, here lies dobby of oh, oh. Ooh, wow that actually is really really cool that's beautiful oh my gosh but i don't know if she, she want a giant book of it i would actually really want to buy priscilla a book in spanish because i know she wants to start reading in spanish but the thing is it like where to start i think this is a maybe i cannot be second books like this like it's a library i need to go put all these books back I've seen this around somewhere. I think this is a graphic novel. Oh, it is. This looks like a graphic novel about ballet. Fun fact, Priscilla used to do ballet. Pretty cool, I know Priscilla likes graphic novels. Hmm, gotta put this aside for now. It's the Patrick Ness book, um, the monster, I forgot what it's called, but it's in Spanish and Priscilla loves this book. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm gonna put the Patrick Ness one back. I think that's, I think I, I have enough books to not get a cookbook. I'm gonna go put these cookbook backs and go back to looking at more books. Okay, so Priscilla has read this book, this book, this book. I'm not sure if she read that book. She read that book. And she's read that book. So, great. Oh, this is, I know she really liked this book. I don't know if she liked it that much. And I want to look up her readings on Goodreads to see. Because if it's a five-star read for her, then I'd get this for her. We have a rule of not looking at each other's Goodreads. So, I don't know. Story time. Me and Priscilla loved Power Rangers when we were smaller. I was the pink ranger and Priscilla was the yellow ranger. And we used to play fight. It was adorable. But I don't know if she'd like a full comic book of it. Okay, this might be turning into a fun facts about Priscilla video, but another fun fact about Priscilla is that she was a classics major for a couple of years. I don't think that she needs another copy of the Aeneid. However, these are some pretty covers. Looking at poetry now, and I think the problem with buying Priscilla poetry is that I don't know enough about it to know what is good and what's not good. If I could find a book of poetry by a person of color or a queer person, I think that would probably be the best bet. Something super feminist. Ooh, that's pretty cool. They won an award. What's this about? I think I'm gonna have to Google this one. I really think that color is cool. Priscilla had a thing for robots back in high school. Like she was really, really into robot aesthetics. This description of what this book about does not help at all. Poems buzz and purr like a weld oiled Chase chesses chesses what I what is this book about that summary did not help at all what the hell was that summary Ooh. okay so first I got the Harry Potter in Spanish because I figured like if you're gonna read a book in Spanish might as well one be one that you've read and once you have an English version of so you can like go back and forth and like it'll be easier to read but this one is a poetry book for colored girls who have considered suicide uh, when the rainbow is enough and half of it is in spanish and then it translated it translates over to english which i think is really really cool i think this will be a cool choice for priscilla i think she'd like this so i'm gonna go ahead and do this one instead of this one so now I look at these other books okay so i think i'm gonna get this one for sure i'm gonna get this one because i think it's cute and then i think i'm also gonna get the vegetarian because she likes that one these though ugh. I'm not sure. I know. I think I'd pick Home Going over the American Marriage. Or that's what we agreed on. I don't. I want to see if I can find a better book than Vegetarian Home Going because this, this is getting a little ridiculous. Take me way too long. So yeah, that's where I am now. Let's go. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a sweep of the science fiction section because I want to get Priscilla an Afrofuturism book. I don't know if I'm just not familiar enough with Afrofuturism to see one of those books, but I don't see any. Afro features in books, and I don't know if Barnes and Noble got something against them or what. Oh wait, there's Octavia Butler. 
All they have is Kindred. All they have is Kindred. They don't have no other Altita Butler books. That is ridiculous. I don't know what this is, but it's really pretty and it's a signed copy. And it's Latinx, which is always a plus. This is really pretty. About Cuban Americans. I think that's really interesting. And I just, oh, it's so pretty. And it's a signed copy. I think I might replace one of the books I have with this one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna place the vegetarian with this one because I think the vegetarian is just a little bit too easy. So, all right, choice is made. Ready to go? Yeah. We're back. <laughs> We made it back from the bookstore, finally. Finally, that, that took a long time. <laughs> it took a lot longer than I thought it was. <laughs> Did you have any struggles, any yes, challenges? Yes, I just, I kept doubting myself like, would Priscilla like this? I don't know. And then I started getting really nervous because I was taking a long time to- Oh, it's okay. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love, right? Anything you want? <laughs> All right, All right so. we're, we're fighting sunlight, so we gotta hurry up and get through this. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. first one. First one is Wild Beauty. New and selected poems by, I don't want to disrespect the author by mispronouncing <laughs> that name, but okay, Wild Beauty, new selected poems. Like, look, look at the front. Like this is a really pretty cover from the author of Four Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough. Aww. Includes complete Spanish text. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is awesome. Oh, they're poems, and it's got the Spanish poem and then the English translation. I thought you liked that, because <gasps> I know you want to start reading Spanish. I do want to start reading in Spanish, and it's such a struggle. That is so awesome. So I really wanted to get you a book in Spanish, because mm -hmm. I know you want to start reading in Spanish. And at first, I got Harry Potter okay. in Spanish, but I thought this might be... I thought Harry Potter would be good too, but I thought this might be a little bit more easier to start off with. Yeah. Because see like the side-by-side -side translation. I've been looking for a poetry work, because poems, I think, are easier to work, start off reading Spanish. I may be wrong, but that's just my take on it. But and especially I, this, you have like side-by-side, yeah. -side, you can see what word means rut, and I thought that was really cool. Oh my god, that is so awesome! Yay. Okay, so, so far so good. <laughs> the, the bar high, I see. I just started with one, like, <laughs> just in case it was all down here. And then next is Homegoing. Okay. Oh, I have been wanting to read this. So this is a good one. I think a lot of people will know this one. Yeah, generational story about Ghana, pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. I, okay. um, I think they're sisters or cousins or something, and one is sold into slavery. Okay. That's a good one. I'm happy with that one, too. Okay. Two out of two. <laughs> two of, you're doing pretty good. Okay. Oh, it's a big one. Okay, the next one is The Cuban Affair, a novel. It's a signed copy. Okay, by Nelson DeMille. DeMille, I think. I don't know anything about this one. Oh, that's a nice map. Look at that map. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful. That's mostly why you got it. <laughs> I got it for aesthetics and because it was a Latinx book. I think it's just a story about someone from Cuba. Okay, I can do. I could deal with that. That's pretty good. Uh, look, isn't it, the cover pretty? It's really... Bright. I really like the cover. I like those colors like teal. I really like teal and yellow. Thank you. All right, last book. I feel this like one... it's Christmas. <laughs> okay, this one, um, What's next? This one I'm really not sure about. Okay, let's see. Romeo and or Juliet, a choosable path adventure by Ryan North. That looks interesting. Okay, it's a nice little map cover. There's, there's graphics. And there's, I hope you can see that. There's graphics and there's numbers. I guess it's like a. It's a choose your own like adventure, choose your own story kind of thing. I thought it was really cute. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. Some of these look pretty funny. What if Romeo never met Juliet? What if Juliet got really buff instead of moping around all day? What if they teamed up to take over Verona with robot suits? I like that. That looks interesting. I've never heard of that before. Okay, so. Romeo and or Juliet. Everything that you picked is really good. Look at that. It's really colorful too. Yeah, look, all of them together look really nice. They're gonna go really nicely on my shelves. So I'm really happy. <laughs> I think you did really good. You were nervous for no all reason. Right. Okay. I liked it. This was fun. Did you enjoy doing it? Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun at first and then I realized that I've been an hour. So I was like, oh shit, I gotta <laughs> put pep in my step and pick out some books. <laughs> I think you did really good. I like everything that you got. All right, so good. Yay. I think this was a success. <laughs> I enjoyed it too. <laughs> I enjoy getting things for free.
<laughs> I mean, is it really for free though? Because you also bought me four books. You know what? I didn't pay for these, so <laughs> I consider it for free. If you like this kind of thing, comment below, let us know. I wouldn't mind doing it again. I don't know about her. I would definitely do it again. It was fun. And I think now that I've done it once, it'd be easier to do it again just because it won't be so like nerve wracking. Yeah, so let us know what you thought. If you've read any of these books, I'd like to hear from you what you thought about them, uh, if you like them. Uh, if you like this kind of style video, let me know and we could do it again. I just got my library card for the Houston Public Library, mm -hmm. which is a separate branch from the usual library that I use. So I think it'd be pretty cool to get lost in that library and do this again. That'd be cheaper. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Buying from new books from a bookseller is a lot more expensive than I remember. So this was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Okay. I think that's all we have to say about these books. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.